back to my channel. Today I'm continuing my looks inspired by movies series. In the last video you guys voted for Phantom of the Opera so that's the look I'm doing today. I'm super excited. It's gonna be quite a unique look. I've never tried to do something like this before. Basically I'm gonna do half face representing the Phantom and a half face representing Christine. As you can see I'm wearing a red flower like Christine did in the Point of No Return. So yeah, let's get into this right now. I literally have so much makeup on my table right now because I have enough makeup for like two full faces of makeup basically since I'm doing two completely different looks on each side. I'm first gonna start off with the Christine side. I'm gonna prime with my Spotlight Primer by Physician's Formula. This is a really glowy primer so I feel like it's perfect for a Christine look. I'm gonna be mostly basing my Christine look on um, her look when she sings uh, Think of Me. So really glowy, like fresh base and just like really light makeup. Uh, she wears like um, whitish eyeshadow on her eyes so that's kind of sparkly. And then obviously very contrasting on the Phantom side is gonna be really dark, really smoky. Since Christine doesn't seem to be wearing like a full face of foundation like caked on her face, I'm just gonna um, use some concealer on any little spots I may have just to even the skin tone a little bit. I'm gonna be using my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. This is so empty right now. I literally just bought a new one on Sephora like an hour ago because like it's basically empty. I'm not even sure I'll have enough for half a face. As you guys might know if you've watched some of my other chatty videos, Phantom of the Opera is either my second or third favorite movie ever. I love it with all my heart. The thing though is that I've only watched it three times because it's like a more recent favorite but like I fell in love with it so fast. By the way, uh, if you love Phantom of the Opera 2 and you want an amazing Phantom of the Opera related story, watch my video I did like that's more chatty. It's the first in a series. The second to last story is the Phantom one and I don't want to spoil anything, but it is quite good. The next product I'm gonna use is actually my Tarte Glow Wand. I used this in a Get Ready With Me a while back, and I've used it quite a bit since. It's such a good product. It's so, like, glowy, and basically the concept of this is you can put this over your concealer, or if you just want a sheer concealer, you can also use it on its own, and it just makes everything look so dewy and glowy and Fresh. I'm also gonna put a little bit on the cupid's bow and on the nose, why not? Look at this effect, like it's so bright and luminous and just it just looks so seamless and natural. I'm so in love with this product. Oh, I forgot to mention, totally go vote for the next look in the cards. The choices for next month are gonna be Lion King. Frozen and Fantasia. Next I'm gonna do the slightest bit of bronzing. I'm gonna go into my Colourpop Afternoon Delight Bronzer. This is a really light one and you can't really go overboard with this. It's very like subtle, which I think is perfect for Christine since, as I mentioned, she doesn't wear a ton of makeup. The reason why I love Phantom of the Opera so much is obviously because it's a musical. I love musicals, I love singing, and Whew, you better believe when I showed uh, Phantom of the Opera to my boyfriend, like when we watched it together, you better believe I was singing all the songs. If he minded, we we could not be dating, honestly. I'm just kidding, but like, I don't know what I'd do. Like, if it, if, if it annoyed my boyfriend when I sung during movies, I'd be so conflicted, because like, I love singing so much. What is your guys' favorite song in Phantom of the Opera. Mine is The Point of No Return. I just love that scene in the movie. It's so amazing. Um, I love Think of Me. I love the main theme. The main theme is amazing. I love pretty much all the songs, but um, yeah, those are my faves. Next I'm gonna go into blush. I'm first gonna use my Colourpop Cheerio blush, and I'm gonna use this pretty sparingly. As we have learned recently, or as I have learned anyways, I don't know if you guys did that already, but um, I learned that I can use my Super Shock blushes, and actually even the Lime Prime ones, with a normal fluffy brush. Like how crazy. I, I didn't know you could use creams like that, but it does work out. You guys know I normally go much more 
intense with my blush, but today I'm really doing an effort to keep it more subdued. I'm gonna top this blush with my Lime Cream Software Blush in Flash Drive. This is really like simple pinky glow, and since this is a glowy blush, I'm gonna apply it with my finger. I'm gonna concentrate it mostly on the top of the cheek. Question of the day. I mean, if you watched Phantom of the Opera, which, I mean, I don't know why you would watch this video if you haven't. And if you haven't, then definitely go watch it. <laughs> I just realized how perfect that timing was. This is my chime when I get an email. It's the Phantom of the Opera theme. Can you tell I'm obsessed? As I was saying, do you ship Christine and Raoul or Christine and the Phantom? I know obviously like the Phantom, he's got some problems, some issues, and um, like it wouldn't, it would not be a healthy relationship. I like, I'm aware of that, but uh, I personally, I ship the Phantom and Christine. I just, I love the Phantom. I tend to love bad guys in movies. Uh, my boyfriend discovered that pretty quickly. I mean, I'm a Slytherin in my soul even though I'm Hufflepuff. Okay, so that's gonna be it for blush. For highlight, I'm gonna use my Flexitarian Highlight by Colourpop. This is such a bright highlight. I felt like it was perfect for Christine. A little bit on the chin. The eye for Christine is gonna be so simple. It's just gonna be using my finger and a few shadows. First, I'm gonna be using my uh, ABH Amrezy palette and dipping into the shade Wasted. So I gotta put that all over my lid. And then on top of that, I'm gonna be using my Wired palette by Urban Decay and using the shade called Glitch. In the waterline, I'm gonna use Honey Dude by Colourpop. It's just a nude, just to brighten it up. And for the sparkle, we are gonna use the shade Airy from the new Lid Lights from Line Crime. This one is just a beautiful champagne. It's so foiled and glittery. I first wanna put this on my inner corner. Again, not gonna be super precise. I just want this look to look like I just slapped it on in like two minutes. I'm gonna do the brow bone. And then gonna do the lid, but just along the lash line and bringing it up. This looks pretty good in my opinion. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of sparkle in the inner corner of the lower lash line. I'm gonna be using my Stila uh, Liquid Shadow in the shade Gold Goddess. This is kind of a cool toned gold, so it's gonna match the rest pretty well. Not gonna put a ton, just right here. And the mascara I'm gonna use is my most natural one. It's my Mega Plush by Maybelline. One thing I love about the Phantom is his whole story arc is just... Oh, it just gets me. It's like he kidnaps Christine at the end. He wants to force her to be with him, but he doesn't really like as soon as she accepts to save Raoul's life. He just kind of falls apart and he's like, just go, like, leave and... He just accepts that he's gonna spend the rest of his life alone and that he can't have his dreams, like, ever. He can only just watch the girl he loves be with the man who is not him. And then when Christine gives him back the ring, it's like, oh, so sad. And then at the end, when Raoul is, like, at Christine's grave, yes, Raoul still goes to see his wife's grave, which is normal, but you still see, like, even after all those years, the Phantom still left Christine a rose, just like he's always done, like a rose with the uh, black ribbon on it. I have actually seen uh, the play when it toured in Montreal. Oh, I want to tell the story about that. Basically, I was just, like, I think... Um, doing homework or something. I think I was in college at that point. The radio was on in my room and I just overheard like a few notes, like two, three notes, and I was like, that Phantom of the Opera? And it was. And on the radio it was like, a oh, Phantom of the Opera is gonna be touring in Montreal, get your tickets now. And this is the only time that like a radio ad has worked on me. I immediately went downstairs and I was like, mom, can we go see Phantom of the Opera, please? Will you go with me? And she was like, uh, 
okay. The show was amazing. They actually had a real chandelier and it actually like fell, like not all the way obviously, but like during the show it moved and it fell and it's just like, it was so well done. And the only thing I didn't like as much was the point of no return scene in the play. Uh, I, I mean, it's my favorite scene in the movie, so I was, I was kind of disappointed about it in the play because it wasn't the same at all, and I was just like, oh, that was my favorite. I'm next gonna do lips. I'm first gonna go in with my Ultra Blotted Lip by Colourpop in the shade Doozy. I'm gonna put this in the middle of the lip. And I'm gonna fade it up with a brush. I did end up putting some more of the highlight on the lip. Now I'm gonna be putting a gloss on top of this. This is my Colourpop Gloss in Scorcher. Unfortunately, it's not available anymore, but it is such a gorgeous, like, clearish gloss with, like, pink iridescence as well as, like, holographic shimmers. And lastly, for the Christine side of the face, I'm gonna put my uh, Tarte Mermiston. I'm gonna try to hide the other half because this does have shimmer and I don't want any shimmer on this side because it's gonna be really mad. For the Phantom side, I'm gonna be using my NYX Angel Veil Primer to prep the face. Did I mostly choose this because of the name? Yes! Um, is it also a good match for the kind of look we're gonna do? Yes, too, because this um, really evens out everything and gives a satin finish. The foundation I'm gonna use is a very full coverage one and a very matte, so it's my uh, Too Faced Peach Perfect. I'm running out of so many things right now. Um, I don't know, it's all like running out at the same time. I'm running out of my favorite Tarte foundation, my NARS concealer, as I mentioned, running out of my Tarte mascara, my Damn Girl mascara, my Too Faced, so I just need to buy like refills of stuff, but at the same time, I don't feel like making a makeup order. I know I just, I said I just ordered the NARS concealer, but I don't know, I'm just trying to be like smart economically right now with everything that's going on. For concealer, I'm gonna be using my only matte concealer, which is the Colourpop one. As I've talked about in some other videos, I don't love this concealer anymore. It just creases a lot on me and it looks very dry, but it is my only matte concealer right now and I want this side of the look to be really matte. I did struggle quite a bit to get this to look decent, because as I said, this concealer just looks so dry. Again, if you have any recommendations for a good matte concealer that wouldn't crease so much and wouldn't look that dry, maybe more of like a satiny matte, definitely let me know in the comments because um, yeah, I'm still on the hunt. For bronzer, I'm gonna go into my darkest one. This is my ABH bronzer in Rich Amber. It is quite intense. I'm gonna really deepen up the hollows of my cheek. For such a dark color, it is actually really easy to work with. I know this looks intense, but again, I really want to contrast the really like sparkly, airy look on the other side. I'm gonna go into my Ambient Lighting Powder in Diffused Light. This is the uh, lightest one of the two I own, and I am gonna use that to sharpen up the contour, just the bottom. On the phantom side, I'm gonna go quite intense with blush. I'm gonna be dipping into my Juvia's Place Saharan 2 blush palette and using a mixture of these two shades. I feel like the phantom is such a fiery character, so that's kind of what I wanted to represent with this. That got pretty intense, but I don't mind it, actually. For highlight, I'm gonna go into my Opal's Highlight Palette by Lime Crime, and I'm gonna do a mix of the peachy one on the right, as well as the yellow. These highlights are more a glow from within than an actual, like, blinding glow, and that's kind of what I wanted for the Phantom, because obviously the Phantom does not wear highlight. Also, the mixture of these two kind of creates a really fiery shade. For this eye, we're gonna do a black smoky eye and gonna smudge some black on the lash line, but we're gonna also put some, like, corally reddish uh, accents to make it more warm and, again, 
uh, to tie in with like the fire at the end of the movie which the phantom causes. I'm first gonna dip into my chocolate gold palette by Too Faced and I'm first gonna go into the black. I think I want to drag this eye out in kind of cat shape. Not sure exactly what I want it to look like yet, but we'll see. I'm gonna do the same on the lower lash line. Then I'm gonna go into the darker brown here called Cocoa Truffle and use this to smoke out this first shade. Same on the lower lash line. Not dragging down as much. And then taking the lightest of the um, browns, I'm just gonna lightly put that as a transition. If my eye looks red right now, I got something in my eye so I had to take out my contact and put it back in again. So. I, I'm not sure what it was. Maybe it was like a lash or something. I'm gonna go back into the black and re-intensify the lash line. And mix both Cocoa Truffle, the darker brown, and the black. It's pretty self-explanatory. Like, I'm just creating a very smoky look. I'm not looking for this to be perfect. Again, like I just slapped something on. I'm gonna use Puppy by Colourpop, which is a bright orange. I'm gonna dip into my Pretty Beauty Coral Obsessions. I think I'm gonna use this one on the upper right. And in the very center of that, I'm gonna pop in a little bit of the yellow. I'm gonna use my Urban Decay uh, liner in Perversion along my top lash line just to put an even darker black. And same on the lower lash. And going back into the uh, eyeshadow palette and into the black, I'm gonna put that on top. On this eye, I'm gonna use my most intense mascara, which is my Damn Girl by Too Faced. The one which is slowly drying out on me and that I need to purchase another one of. Basically, I want my lashes to show up even against this really dark background. Now we're gonna do lips and I'm gonna do a really dark black lip and we're gonna top that with some glitter to represent like the magician side of the phantom. I'm gonna be using my black velvet velveteen from Lime Crime. For the glitter, I'm first gonna use some glitter glue and tap some onto the whole of the black, pretty much. The glitter we are gonna use is called Ice Queen and it's from Lift Cosmetics. It's a really pretty, like, um, iridescent whitish glitter. Oh, that's so magical. This is going to be my final look inspired by Phantom the Opera. I quite like each look individually. I know together they kind of clash, but that was kind of the point. This side I'm really proud of because I feel like it actually does look like Christine. And isn't this very much like magician Eric with his cape? If you did like this video, please give me a thumbs up. It really helps me out and tells me that you like this little series. I know it's not the most popular videos on my channel, but I really like it personally. That being said, I'll see you in my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye! Think of me softly when we said goodbye Remember me once in a